How to rewire a lamp by electrical101.com This video will show you how to replace a cord. Whether you want to replace the socket, the switch, the cord, or everything else in the lamp, this video will cover basic lamp rewiring. Here are the tools you'll need to rewire a lamp. A screwdriver, a wire stripper, wire cutter is optional, electrical tape, continuity tester. Some lamps have a felt cover to protect against scratches. If you are replacing the whole socket assembly, you will need to remove this felt cover in order to access the threaded pipe inside the lamp. Make sure the lamp is unplugged. After removing the shade and the bulb, remove the harp. This is done by lifting the fasteners to the top of the harp. Squeeze the harp and lift up from the base. Metal sockets have a cardboard insulator to protect against shock. Pull upward on the cover and tilt slightly. Here you can access the cord and the switch. Here you can see the underwriter's knot that keeps the cord in place. Pull the cover and the insulator from the socket. You can see the insulator inside the cover. Note the terminal colors. Brass is for the hot wire. Silver is for the neutral. I will be replacing the white cord with a silver cord. Cut the old cord and split the wires apart. You may need a wire cutter to split the cord. Strip about an inch of insulation from both wires on the old and new cords. Twist the wires and bend them into a hook. Hook each of the old and new wires together, and then twist the wires to splice them together. Once the wires are twisted together, Pull on the wires to make sure they hold together. Cut a short piece of electrical tape and wrap the wire splice. When wrapping, overlap the tape by half of the width of the tape. Wrapping too much tape will make the wires too big to fit through the holes. Then cut off any excess tape. Now it's time to pull the new cord into the lamp. Push the cord at the bottom as you gently pull from the top. Pull the rest of the cord up and cut below the splice. You may need a wire cutter to split the new cord and then pull it apart. Check the cord for polarity markings. The neutral wire, which connects to the wider prong on the plug, usually has ribs on the side of the insulation. The hot side sometimes has lettering. Here is the underwriter's knot. First you bend the left wire under the cord, then the other wire under the first wire, then over the cord and through the loop of the first wire. Next you tighten it up. Then you push it back into the socket base and tighten it again. Now it's time to trim and strip the wires. Trim them as short as possible and still be able to strip them. 
There's not much room under the socket. If the wires are stranded, twist the wires so they don't spread when you tighten the screw. Bend the wires so they wrap clockwise around the screws. The neutral wire, usually ribbed, connects to the silver colored terminal. All of the strands of the wire must be under the screw when you tighten it. The hot wire, which is the bronze color, is now being tightened. Replace the cover and the insulator. Make sure the cardboard insulator is seated all the way into the base. This is the time to test continuity between the plug and the socket tab. With a continuity tester, touch one lead to the smaller prong of the plug, which is the hot prong. Touch the other to the bottom center tab inside the socket, which is the hot tab. Now you can replace the harp. Install the bulb. Install the shade. And you are ready to go.